Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this webinar. We are Leonardo Rundo and Andrea Tangerboni, PhD students in computer science at the University of Milano Bicocca, Italy. The title of this talk is uh, Biomedical Image Segmentation and Analysis Using Machine Learning and Computational Intelligence Techniques. This is the outline of this talk. I'm starting by exposing the motivations underlying biomedical image analysis. Afterwards, I'll introduce machine learning techniques by focusing on uh, computer-assisted segmentation methods in cancer imaging, uh, as well as multispectral and multimodal image segmentation. My colleague Andrea will continue by talking about uh, computational intelligence techniques for complex optimization problems in medical imaging, especially concerning biomedical image uh, registration and medical image enhancement. Uh, let's start with the motivation. Nowadays, the amount of very heterogeneous biomedical data is increasing more and more thanks to advancements in information technology especially uh, electronic and mobile health, high throughput technologies, and imaging acquisition modalities, such as computed tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, positive emission tomography, and live cell imaging. These huge uh, information ensembles could overwhelm analytic capabilities concerning both physicians in their decision-making tasks and biologists in investigating live cell dynamic processes. In this regard, it's relevant to propose automated computational approaches that exploit computational intelligence and machine learning to improve traditional image processing techniques. Therefore, the aim of biomedical image informatics is twofold. In medical image analysis, proposing novel computational methods and algorithms to support uh, clinicians in their own daily tasks, also as an instrument in development of clinical decision support systems, and by always keeping in mind the, always, the uh, clinical feasibility of the design solutions. With reference to uh, biomedical image, to biological image analysis, the goal is to exploit the availability of increasingly large and high dimensional datasets to propose automatic approaches in order to develop tools for real laboratory environments. So machine learning so plays an increasing crucial role in radiology applications, allowing for uh, personalized uh, therapies derived from the combination of anatomical and molecular imaging. In this context, uh, quantitative imaging uh, methods provide uh, scientifically uh, and clinically relevant uh, data in prediction, prognostication, and assessment by uh, also exploiting uh, radiomics approaches. However, conventional machine learning and computational intelligence techniques uh, must be adapted and tailored to address the unique challenges regarding biomedical images. As a matter of fact, we are dealing uh, uh, with complex data uh, due to the different acquisition modalities, also related to differences in imaging, physics, and protocols. Also, this data could be uh, high dimensional data. In addition, uh, subtle uh, differences such as sub voxel motion and partial volume effect, as well as uh, large differences mainly due to the variability in anatomy and physiology of the different body parts, have to be taken into account. Also, computational requirements are difficult to be met, especially concerning training and execution phases. And however, uh, very high accuracy in classification tasks, tasks must be ensured for patient safety and optimal decision making. So, let me say that uh, clinical studies involve unique challenges to the latest uh, 
machine learning approaches such as uh, deep neural networks. Indeed, a large number of patients is typically not uh, available, thousands rather than a million of samples, involving the use of close validation and also transfer learning, uh, uh, as well as the generation of uh, synthetic images for data augmentation. On the other hand, each patient's dataset is potentially a heterogeneous wealth of information by integrating test results, genomic and imaging data. Now I am going to describe computer-assisted segmentation methods with particular interest to cancer imaging. Uh, in biology, uh, high-content uh, time-lapse imaging monitors uh, responses uh, in uh, living cells over uh, a specific period of time, uh, enabling large-scale large imaging uh, experiments by means of hundreds of thousands of microscopy images per day. So effective and feasible solutions uh, are required. In the medical domain, image segmentation, which consists in detecting and delineating a region of interest, such as organs or pathological areas, is one of the most critical clinical tasks. This task is generally carried out manually by physicians. Unfortunately, this uh, manual procedure is time expensive, since dozens of slides has to be, have to be segmented manually. To define uh, the ROI and is strongly dependent on the operator, implying a uh, high subjectivity of the physician in uh, ROI selection. Uh, this gives rise to the need for automatic approaches to optimize diagnosis and therapies as well as ensure uh, segmentation results readability. Uh, during uh, diagnosis and prognosis, treatment planning, and patient follow-up phases. To achieve a proper level of generality, in this talk we are focusing on the magnetic resonance imaging MRI, which is a very prominently used modality because uh, uh, it's characterized by high image resolution and contrast, in, especially in soft tissues and uh, uh, intrinsically includes uh, multispectral data by the excitation of different tissues, uh, varying uh, relaxation times of the uh, nuclear MR process. Thereby, in addition to the uh, morphological structure of the image uh, tissues, dot perfusion, the water molecule diffusion, the spectroscopy about the metabolites will be thoroughly evaluated. In the context of machine learning, as supervised techniques uh, uh, have gained popularity due uh, also to the lack of, of medical imaging data. These techniques aim to uh, determine an intrinsic partitioning in a set of unlabeled data, which are associated with a future, future vector by capturing uh, regularities uh, in data. A valuable example of such techniques is uh, fuzzy Siemens clustering. Although uh, our cluster analysis works well on, comp on, on compact and well separated groups of data, in many real world uh, situations, clusters overlap and assigning them with the gradual memberships using a soft computing approach may be more appropriate and flexible. Uh, fuzzy classification schemes allow each uh, object to belong to multiple clusters uh, with uh, varying uh, degrees of memberships. From an algorithmic perspective, FCM is an optimization problem represented by the minimization of the uh, showed uh, objective function. Uh, by means of uh, uh, the least squared method. 
uh, unsupervised uh, fat disease clustering uh, was applied in brain MRI segmentation for supporting the gamma knife treatment planning. Here, uh, two segmentation examples uh, are shown. It's appreciable how the iterative procedure converts uh, to the final classification and how post-processing uh, uh, steps refine uh, segmentation results in the rightmost example. In addition, three-dimensional volume rendering could be also useful for neurosurgeons, especially in multi-metastatic scenarios. As a second step, a novel ne necrosis extraction approach, which allows uh, for the distinction between the necrotic and enhancement regions uh, based on uh, FCM clustering uh, has been developed. As a matter of fact, uh, radionecrosis uh, represents a critical issue in aggressive radiation treatment. Uh, necrotic regions are generally characterized by uh, hypoxia, which is implicated in several aspects of tumor development and growth. So, uh, next could uh, represent a feasible uh, clinical solution in radiation therapy devices that allow for dose escalation uh, or dose painting by increasing the radiotherapy dose in these uh, radio-resistant areas. Three necrosis extraction examples are shown at the bottom of the slide. For clinical uh, usefulness, two examples of three-dimensional rendering with alpha blending are shown here. However, the gross tumor volume uh, GTV is usually delineated on uh, anatomic MR images alone. On the other hand, biological target volume BTV is segmented using uh, positive emission tomography images conveying uh, information about the, meta the metabolic behavior of the tumor. GTV often does not match uh, entirely with BTV. Therefore, metabolic PT information about the tumor activity should be integrated with the uh, anatomic uh, MR images. This will give deep insights about the tumor region. So, a novel automatic uh, uh, multimodal PT MRI uh, image segmentation approach has been proposed by exploiting, improving, and properly combining two computer assisted and, uh, and operator independent methods to segment brain tumor. The former that uses random works on graphs uh, for PT segmentation on PT images, and the latter based on the FCM clustering algorithm for uh, GTV segmentation. Uh, first of all, uh, PT and MR images must be co-registered in order to bring them into the same coordinate system since they were not uh, uh, scanned contextually. In this way, a quantitative uh, comparison is made. In this particular case, the BTV has a quite, quite uh, different shape compared with the GTV. This is also demonstrated on the fused images, uh, on the fused image on, and on the three-dimensional reconstructed volume, where GTV and BTV contours are overimposed. The achieved experimental results showed that the GTV and BTV segmentation are statistically correlated, but they have low similarity degree. In fact, uh, volume measurements as well as evaluation metrics values demonstrated that MRI and PT convey different but complementary imaging information. So, GTV and BTV could be combined to enhance treatment planning by supporting neurosurgeon with deeper clinical insights. Another critical uh, context is represented by prostate cancer. We exploit the FCM clustering algorithm to enable 
multifactor MRI morphologic data processing after performing a preliminary MR for registration step. Here, the overall flow diagram of the proposed method is reported. For the first time, we combined T1 weighted and T2 weighted MR image morphologic information to enhance prostate gland segmentation based on uh, unsupervised clustering. Two examples of prostate uh, ROI segmentation results are shown here. We can note how preprocessing uh, uh, multi uh, how processing multispectral uh, anatomic or registered images enhances clustering results on the corresponding uh, uh, T2 weighted and T1 weighted images alone. Overall, the multispectral the approach considerably outperforms the monoparametric ones. As I said before, in multispectral and multimodal image processing, image per registration represents a fundamental step because it enables to align different images into the same reference system. Now, Andrea will start by introducing the issues related to biomedical image registration. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Andrea, and uh, I will talk about uh, <coughs> co-registration and then uh, swarm intelligence and the genetic swarm intelligence techniques and genetic algorithms. In order to integrate uh, different images uh, into a single representation that is the same reference systems, we exploit uh, image co-registration. This fundamental task allows physicians and researchers to assess a this complementary information to perform quantitative and precise evaluations on biome biomedical imaging data. Fused ima image data can improve medical uh, diagnosis, surgery planning, uh, and simulation, as well as intraoperative navigation. Moreover, medical image registration algorithms can be applied in uh, intramodalities matching for patient follow-up. Uh, follow and intermodality matching for a comparison and quantitative measurements concerning images acquired with different modalities. The same anatomical district of the human body is often imaged with different modalities, in particular uh, morphological images which define the, anat the anatomy of organs and pathological tissues can be integrated with functional ones which describe the cellular uh, physiology or the metabolism, uh, such as positron emission tomography, PAT. These images are used in a complementary fashion to gain additional insights uh, into biological phenomena and pathologies. The choice of the modality depends strongly on the medical task. And uh, registration approaches can be principally distinguishing two different schemes. On the one hand, feature-based techniques find correspondences between geometrical images features, uh, such as points, line, contour, surface, or landmarks, external or, anat or anatomical. Either images, features, uh, or landmarks are first extracted from the input images, and then a uh, transformation is established according uh, to the correspondence between the found features. features However, cementing and finding correspondences are uh, very difficult tasks. On the other hand, uh, intensity-based techniques directly exploit the image uh, intensities uh, to compute the transformation that maximize our uh, similarity metrics by searching in a certain space of transformations and comparing intensity patterns. Uh, the main advantage of these uh, schemes uh, is that explicit image segmentation or feature extraction is not required. The, biome the biomedical image registration process uh, starts from two images A and B. A is the source image, while B is the reference image. Uh, the reference image is usually selected according to the content and the higher sp uh, spatial resolution. The optimization process uh, tries to find the parameters, uh, that is, geometrical, tra uh, geometrical transformation methods T, by maximizing or minimizing some objective uh, function, called the similarity metric. Even if images A and B have exactly the same sampling grid, 
the grid points will not normally coinc uh, coincide in the volume of overlap and an interpolation step is necessary. Then uh, realignment and re-slicing uh, re operations are mandatory to obtain a one-to-one -one mapping between different modalities of slices. The procedure is iterated until uh, the convergence uh, uh, condition is not is uh, achieved. At each iteration, the optimization method find uh, another uh, hopefully better transformation T, evaluates the similarity measure, and uh, continue to iterate until the convergence condition is achieved. We can use two different uh, uh, conditions. Uh, no transformation can improve the value of the similarity matrix. The value is less than a fixed tolerance threshold or the number of possible iteration is achieved. The search space uh, is the set of potential transformations used to align the images. Each point is the parameter space correspond to a different estimation of the transformation. Accordingly, the parameter space can be seen as a high dimensionality function in which the value of each local corresponds uh, uh, to the value of the similarity measure for the for that transformation estimate. Three-dimensional uh, three geometric transformations can be rigid with uh, six degrees of freedom, affine with uh, 12 degrees of freedom, or elastic with uh, thousands degrees of freedom. In a three d uh, rigid body uh, registration, the mapping uh, of the coordinates into the transformed ones can be suitable formulated uh, as a matrix multiplication in homogeneous coordinates with the geometric transformation matrix T with six uh, parameters. The similarity matrix uh, is an indicator that quantifies uh, the degrees of closeness between features or intensity values of the two images. Generally, in multimodal registration, there is no simple relation, uh, relationship between the intensities in the, image, in the images. Mutual information uh, is an information theoretic concept for estimating the degrees of uh, dependence of the random variable A and B with marginal probability distribution P A and P B by measuring uh, the distance between the joint distribution and the distribution associated uh, to the case of complete statistical independence. Normalized mutual information is also frequently used as the cost function to be optim optimized. Intensity-based registration techniques uh, determine the registration transformation by optimizing a certain bots and similarity measures, such as mutual information metrics. Uh, the intensity A and B are related uh, to the geometrical transformation T. Uh, the, uh, the mutual information registration criterion states that the images A and B are geometrically aligned by the transformation T, for uh, which the uh, E uh, of A and B is maximal. Therefore, uh, the objective of intensity-based registration is to find an estimation of the transformation that uh, best aligns uh, the source images A against the reference image B. Unfortunately, parameter space for image registration are frequently not so simple. Um, there are often um, uh, multiple optima within uh, the parameter space and the registration can fail if the, fails if the optimization algorithm converges uh, to the wrong optimum. Uh, some of these optima may be a way, uh, very small, caused either by interpolation artifacts uh, or a local good match between features or intensities. These slides, uh, we can see two instances of a uh, PET M uh, MRI co-registration uh, co via, via, via maximization of normalized mutual information. Uh, the quality of the achieved registration can be quantitatively appreciated with the check, uh, checkerboard images of co-registrated PET negative grayscale and MRI uh, normal grayscale, as well as uh, diffused images. Uh, along the axis of each joint histogram, the gray values of the two images are represented uh, from left to right for uh, source and from bottom to top for reference. In particular, original and final joint histograms prove 
the quality of the normalized motor information registration, uh, registration process because Peter's values are mainly distributed on the histogram diagonal. Swarm intelligence uh, studies the collective behaviors of the decentralized, self-organized natural or artificial systems. These methods consist typically in a population of simple agents interacting locally with each other and with their environment. Although there is no centralized control structure leading the agents, the information communication often affected by a certain degree of random, uh, random, uh, randomness influences the individual behaviors and gives all the agents to achieve the same global goal. Particle swarm optimization uh, PSO, is a population-based stochastic optimization algorithm. This technique uh, exploits uh, cooperative and social aspects for solving non-linear optimization problems. A swarm of uh, n artificial particles. A swarm consists of n artificial uh, particles. Each particle moves uh, based on a velocity vector, which is a function of the best positions found by the particle itself. Uh, that is the local best solution and uh, of the global best position found so, uh, so far along um, all particles uh, called the global best solution. Several modifications to the classical PSO were proposed. Uh, for example, the best position is in a neighborhood uh, for each particle uh, could, uh, could be considered instead of the global best position. Evolutionary strategies can also be integrated, uh, integrated, such as mutation and crossover, to preserve exploration capability during the iterations. Grouping the particle into uh, subpopulation is a further alternative. Any clustering method can be used to perform this uh, subdivision. And finally, a constriction uh, coefficient key was also introduced to control the movement of each particle by balancing both uh, convergence and explosive particle movements. Um, a very current problem in medical imaging is represented by the detection and extraction of regions from the black be uh, background, uh, such as uh, in the case of contrast enhanced MRI. For instance, in uh, MRG fuse treatments for uterine fibroids, um, Cementation is a mandatory task, both in treatment planning and evaluation of the non perfused volume MPV, which appears uh, hyper-intense with respect to the LT uterine tissue. As we can see in these uh, examples, um, accur accurately segmenting this kind of images is challenging, since they are affected by region inhomogeneities and irregular uh, shape of bound or boundary. So, uh, to solve this problem, we have addressed, uh, we propose uh, um, a novel image enhancement approach based on genetic algorithm called, uh, called MedGA. This method enhances the underlying B model distribution of gray levels and improves image binarization results achieved by global adaptive thresholding uh, techniques, which strongly rely on a Gaussian mixture to model the gray level distribution of an image. Genetic algorithms are population-based optimization strategies that mimics Darwinian processes. In this strategy, each individual of the population encodes a possible solution of the given optimization problem, and in each iteration, the individuals undergo a selection mechanism and are modified by genetic operator, namely crossover and mutation. The crossover operator is used to recombine the genetic information from two parent individuals, obtaining offspring solutions with better characteristics with respect to the parent, and mutation operator is applied to increase the variability of the population. Uh, MedGA, given a, as input an MR image, calculates the histogram representing the image uh, itself. Each individual represents a possible histogram of the input uh, grade levels. During the initialization phase, the population is randomly generated using a uniform distribution and the elements of each individual are sorted in order to maintain the correct ordered mapping with the original beans. At the end of the optimization process, the best individual represent, represents uh, the histogram characterized by the strongest B-modal distribution of the input gray levels. We have applied MedGA on two different uh, clinical applications. Uh, 
uterine, uh, fibroid, and brain uh, um, metastatic, uh, metastatic tumor. This is an example of uh, uterine fibroids, and uh, this is an example of brain metastatic cancers. We want to thank uh, our group, our group, work group, uh, and uh, also thank uh, uh, Orge for uh, the kind invitation. And uh, finally, thank you for your kind attention.